Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today 23rd February 2023 in the Indian stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. I don't want to talk too much about what happened on yesterday since I guess most of us know already. So in the later part of the video, I'll give some statistics of the data about how much of the disaster was that like. But again, only Chinese market was just okay negative, I mean around 0.5%. As I said yesterday, since BlackRock investment firm released a statement that they were overweight on emerging economic stock market, particularly they mentioned that they were bullish on Chinese market. All other major Asian market like Japan was down by 1.3% and South Korea was down by 1.68%. So all are incomparable with Indian market which was down by around 1.5%. Even European market was down by over 1% till the time of Indian market opening. But after our market closed, Europe kind of recovered some. So I consider yesterday's drop was mainly global induced momentum one rather than the local one. If anything local means, I might agree just to the options induced volatility, not the fundamentals based, here excluding Adani. Here one worrying thing I can see is that when the European market recovers, our nifty futures or for that matter SGX nifty didn't recover at all. Anyway, after our market hours, all three major indexes in the US market opened flat and traded flat till 2 pm eastern time. I mean for example, till the time S&P 500 traded plus or minus only 10 points. In terms of percentage, it just plus or minus 0.2 to 0.25 percent. Then at 2 pm eastern time, Fed released their last FOMC meeting minutes. After that, S&P 500 dropped up to 0.5 percent but quickly recovers to the same place where it was. So yesterday, US market was more of the flat to marginal negative. At the end of the day, Dow Jones lost 0.26%, S&P 500 lost 0.12%, but Nasdaq increased by 0.13%. Nasdaq outperformed S&P 500 and Dow Jones. Here US VIX 2 dropped from near 23 to 22.3. Now let's discuss what we can take away from the Fed meeting minutes. I mean, first of all, every FOMC members acknowledged the fact that December month inflation that released on January was substantially low. But together, they also agreed on the fact that they want more evidence and they don't want to change their stance prematurely. They also raised the concerns about the strong labor market and citing this as a reason, few FOMC members backed for faster interest rate hike decision. In the end, most of them agreed on increasing just 0.25%. So there is no surprise and no new information and everything already known to the investors and because of that only market closed flat didn't move much at all. However, dollar index increased from 104 to 104.5 whereas 10 year treasury bond yield dropped from near 3.96 to 3.92. Regarding crude oil, it decreased over 3%. I mean, at present, WT crude oil is trading at 74 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude oil is trading around 80.5 US dollars per barrel. Finally, for Indian areas in US market, it's another disastrous day. IT stocks such as Wipro and Infosys decreased by 1% and 0.82% respectively. Regarding banks ADR, it's too negative as ICC Bank decreased 1.36% and HDFC Bank decreased near 2%. So it's indicating still more negativeness. In terms of SGX Nifty, at 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed at 17,547, which means it's indicating flat or marginal gap down, I mean 20 points gap down opening. Now coming to India related info, like Fed, RBI2 released their MPC meeting minutes, I mean Monetary Policy Committee meeting minutes. Unlike US, in India, there are some members against increasing the interest rate hike and some was in favor of it. For example, one of the members, Jayant Verma, mentioned that 25 basis point increase is unwarranted and not desirable, so he voted against it. There are couple others echoed the similar view but still voted in favor of increasing it, whereas Deputy Governor was clearly in favor of increase. He said in his view, high inflation is the biggest threat to the macroeconomic outlook. So he thinks restoration of price stability is the important thing to do. Moving on, now regarding yesterday's market, here are some stats. It's not just Adani, yesterday over 250 more number of stocks hits the lower circuit. Second, over 3.87 lakh crore rupees investors wealth were wiped out in one single day. And yesterday, all the sectors closed in red. Despite all this negativity, FIA net sold only for 580 crore rupees and DIA net bought for 270 crore rupees. 
So the net institutional sold was just only 210 crore rupees. This clearly shows market volatility was introduced through derivatives. Just please be aware today is monthly and weekly expiry for Indian market so we can expect expiry related volatility. Now coming to stock specific unexpectedly yesterday Reliance was down by near 2.5%. It was also one of the main nifty dragger even though after all the brokerages increases their target price. Along with that last night Morgan Stanley released a statement that they are bullish on energy sector in India especially ONGC and Oil India. So that's I guess this kind of influences Reliance to positive today. As a summary Indian areas were really negative and indicating Nifty to drop another 100 to 150 points. However SGX Nifty and US market kind of indicating Nifty to open flat to marginal negative. Let's see. Regarding the items to look out, US Q4 GDP second estimate data was due to release in the aftermarket hours. Other than that, I am not aware of any. Now coming to the final topic, technical. In daily charts, both Nifty and Bank Nifty forms a fifth consecutive bearish candle and the fifth one is larger compared to its previous four candles with a gap down opening. Normally such formation indicates the strengthening of downside momentum in the market. I mean Nifty breaks both 200 day simple and exponential moving average whereas Bank Nifty breaks just the 200 day exponential one. In the previous bearish trend market Nifty did the upside bounce as soon as it moved below the 200 day exponential moving average. And yesterday both Nifty and Bank Nifty did broke the 200 day exponential moving average. So based on history it may bounce back from the present level. But the present level indicates that there is a possibility of some more weakness in the short term and the important support zone to look around will be 17,300 to 17,400 levels. Anyway as I said earlier at present Nifty closed below all the important moving averages such as 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 and 200 day. So as a moving average summary it's a strong sell signal. And it's same for most of the technical indicator as well such as MACD, ADX and ROC etc. However at present RSI value indicates the oversold condition as the value drops from 46 on Tuesday closing to now just 21.5 in Wednesday closing. Whereas in case of Bank Nifty it's very very marginally better. Compared to Nifty I mean it's trading above the 200 day simple moving average and all others it's below. So as a summary here to strong sell in both moving average and technical indicator wise. Moving on to open interest analysis based on change in open interest in Nifty. Yesterday there was a small number of put options were added at 17,000 and 17,500 but again significant put options unwinding taken place between 17,600 to 18,000. And there are good number of new call options were added at 17,600 to 17,800 and the maximum new call options were added at 17,700. So 17,700 is the resistance to break. At present the put call ratio is 0.54. So if positive gap up opening can trigger some possible short covering today. From open interest data there are still huge number and maximum put option open interest is present at 17,500 followed by 17,400. So possibly 17,400 can act as a good support. Then in terms of bank team to change in open interest there are put options unwinding taken place at above 42,200 and significant call options were added at above 40,000 and the maximum new call options is present at 40,400 mark. So 40,400 is the resistance to break. From open interest data the maximum put option open interest is present at 39,000 followed by 40,000 and 39,500. So 39,000 looks like a good support. In bank nifty the put call ratio is much worse than nifty. I mean it's in the range of 0.47. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and will also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any innocent decision based on this as I am not a SEBI registered advisor. I am doing it for my and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.